Hello everyone, my name is PJ Bull here, and I'm manager at New Hampshire Hostas in Southampton, New Hampshire. Today I'd like to review with you the Hostopedia by Mark R. Zylus. The Hostopedia is an encyclopedia of hostas and is the most definitive work done on hostas in print today. Uh, the Hostopedia contains over 7,400 cultivars of hostas and nearly 2,000 colored photos. The Hostopedia is the product of Mark Zylus' nearly 30 years of extensive research of hostas and the growing in the garden. Mark travels the world with a notepad, a tape measure, and a camera and documents every characteristic of hostas growing in the garden. The result is this beautiful alphabetical listing of hostas that we use all the time for our website and deal with customers that come in and visit us. So here we have the front cover of the Hostopedia and uh, you'll notice the size of the book when you receive it. Um, it is a pretty hefty book, it weighs 11 pounds. Um, a lot of material in this book. When you first open up, you get to the introduction. Mark has a significant section on the introduction to explain to you a lot about the hostas, um, from hybridizing to fertilization, how the hostas mutate and sport, uh, the, how the hostas are named, how hostas are registered with the American Hosta Society and brought to market, and, uh, and then he has a really good section on how to read his descriptions. Uh, he describes each hosta in a certain way with the leaf sizes, leaf shapes, leaf colors from mound sizes and mound shapes. Uh, most cultivars will have that hosta name, the breeder or the discoverer of the hosta, the year it was registered, if it was bred, what hostas were crossed to create the new cultivar, uh, the mound size, the leaf color, the leaf size, the leaf characteristics, the flowering time and the flower color. He also has on each one the status, which means if it's commercially available and how rare it is in the market. And then Mark will have a comment section on that hoster. He usually tells you if it's a good grower or not, and uh, his opinion on that hoster. And then here you get to the alphabetical listing, which is one of the better parts of this book, is hosters are really easy to find. Um, I'm going to show you how easy right now. Um, you're going to find Blue Angel. It's a fairly popular hosta. So all I have to do is fish through, try to find the blue, and I find Blue Angel. It's there on the right hand side. The nice color photo. And now we're going to zoom in and I'll show you. I know you can't see really well with the zoom, but um, it gives the name. It tells you who registered it. And it'll tell you where it came from and then uh, down below it gives you the description will give you the size and all the characteristics of the leaf and the mound and then his status of how available it is in this case it's very available it's everywhere and then uh, on the next page it talks about how what similar types so it'll be what hostas roughly look the same as that and then uh, there's sports off of it he likes to list those too which is a pretty good a useful uh, thing to have because you know where hostas come from uh, another popular one is June so we'll fish through real quick and show you how easy it is again to find and there's June uh, multiple photos on June because if you grow June you would know that the more sun you have it in the more gold the center is and the, the least sun that you give it, uh, you almost have no gold in the middle. So that plant can look completely different depending on where you plant it. So there's the description on June. So as you can see it's very easy to find the hosta varieties in here. And there's a lot of information on them. Helps you plan your garden. And it's just kind of cool to, to know where everything came from and the sizes and all that's perfect. And now I'll show you he has the table of contents in the back so in case you wanted to find one even quicker um, another popular hoster is Patriot so here we'll look in the peas we'll find Patriot it tells you it's on it. pages 701 and 702 and then it has a photo so the table of contents tells you a lot too so we'll fish through we'll find Patriot
And there is Patriot with a pretty good picture. And once again, same descriptions as other hostas. Some have more description than others because uh, he knows more about them and they've been around longer. Some hostas haven't been around long enough for, for Mark to have seen them and have a lot of information on them. So as you can see, this book is very helpful, very useful uh, in planning your hosta gardens or if you just want an infinite amount of knowledge about hostas. Uh, it's a great book. Uh, we feel that it's a great buy at $79.99 for the size of the book and what's in it. Um, it's a really good buy. You can buy it on our website, NewHampshireHosta.com. It has free shipping. And I uh, hope this was helpful.